What are you nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans and get today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Ron Konohashi Deranged Detective Chapter 99. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored in being sponsored by Shuisha and being sponsored by Manga Plus, and considering how much we promote Manga Plus on this channel. It's kind of surprising, right? But if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking, um, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our cash app and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So, well, last time we covered this manga, we started getting into the second part of Ron Kamanahashi, and we got into blue. And God damn it, the Hogwarts vibes of it all. I love it. I'm a Harry Potter nerd. I'm a Potterhead, so of course I'm gonna love it. And now we're getting into some Chamber of Secrets realness up in here. Seriously. Uh, but anyways, let's get to this chapter. See what's in store for us this week. That's Alyssa Beaumont. Yes, she's dead. The bloody, motionless body of a student. And yes, I know, Volume 11 is on sale in Japan only. God, part of me is like scared because I have a feeling it's going to be licensed by Viz because more Manga Plus titles are getting licensed by Viz. And part of me is happy that it's getting licensed, but the other part of me, just considering there's no um, uh, translation um, quality control over there, yeah, that scares me. And yes, now that I think about it, I probably should be telling the editors over at, um, at Jump Plus about that. I think I will. <laughs> oh, I probably should. Before they consider doing that. Yeah, maybe they will get um, this is asses into gear. Alyssa's in there? Is she okay? Huh? Well, where's the key? In the staff room. It's far from here, so it would take a while. Let's find another way to get in that room. Maybe from the adjacent room? Good idea, Officer Shiki. We can get into uh, to the ledge from the window. Huh? From the outside? But we're on the fifth floor. Um, this is the room. Uh, it has the same lay uh, layout as the adjacent room. What was that sound? Maybe in the, uh, the pond in the courtyard? What's that? It looks like a human head. Uh, God, the window's locked. Her head's gone. What? So, so, that's, so then the head's in the pond. It can't be. Holy shit. Dude, Amano's like, nah. Nah, Amano, you must be watching my content because, you know, because I'm comparing this to Harry Potter. And Amano's like, nah. There's not going to be some J.K. Rowling shit up in here. <laughs> this ain't child friendly. <laughs> no, we're going to have a decapitation. <laughs> Amato, I love you so much for that. Wow, what's going on? Her head vanished from inside uh, the locked room and appeared in the courtyard. What in the world happened? I can't believe this could happen to, at her school. We need to go check out that head in the pond. No, you two go get the key from the staff room. Officer Shiki will solve the ki this case before you get back. Huh? Huh? Dude, I'm going to need that panel. I can understand your shock, but Officer Shiki is special. I, his, his, uh, wait, I, his assistant, Kawamele, have uh, seen him solve countless difficult cases. Dude, those kids are going to be stupid if they don't figure out that that is Ron. I, you know what? I have to wonder... If Ron did this on purpose, for uh, there's um, tons of reasons why he did this. But I think part of it is just uh, as a test for the kids to see if they can figure it out. Uh, seriously, I wonder if that's the case. Now hurry, right? Why are you mess messing with me at a time like this? I've already solved it. <laughs> huh? Take a good look. Okay, you solved the case? What are you doing, kitty? Oh, Kitty eating his catnip. That's what he's doing. He was so silly. God. He's the only reason I'm awake right now. This cat has been, like, very fussy lately. 
Oh, what's wrong with him? What are you doing, Keith? Oh, he hasn't solved the case yet. He's sniffing for clues. That's what he's doing. Take a good look. You should notice from uh, notice it from this angle. Huh? The other students are here. When I told them Ashiki Sensei would sol solve it, they all wanted to hear. Uh, was there really a murder? Very busy, Mr. Japanese Detective. Please keep your deduction concise. Sure. All right, I'll begin my deduction. All incomprehensible, um, sorry, an incomprehensible incident occurred in the preparation room behind me. Uh, the door is locked, so when we peeked in... Oh, hello, Detective Kitty. Dude, his timing is amazing, isn't it? He came in time. I love you so much, Cat. You are so perfect. The door is locked, so when we peeked into the room, we saw Alyssa under the stone under a stone pillar. Um... After that, we heard a splashing sound and saw a human head floating in the courtyard, uh, courtyard pond. When we looked uh, back in the room, Alyssa Kun's head uh, had disappeared. The key to solving this case was uh, the pool of blood around Alyssa Kun. After her he head disappeared, the pool of blood was in the shape, uh, same shape, but it had shifted location. And what had shifted its location? Okay, uh huh. The blood shifted? That's impossible. The answer is simple. It wasn't fresh blood, it was a sheet of clotted blood. Sheet of cloud blood, so it was fake? Oh, that's right. In other words, this was a prank made to look like a murder. You know what? I'm not surprised by this. I'm not, because I, when I looked at her facial expression, I was like, nah, nah, th there's no way. The culprit's goal must have been to frighten uh, their new teacher with the disappearing corpse trick. It's gone. The adjacent room has the same layout and the storage space under the floor giving a, uh, gave a hint to solving the trick. This is some Detective Conan shit. This really is. We just had a case kind of similar. Well, there wasn't murder, obviously. We had a case similar to this in Detective Conan where it was a prank. But anyways, Alyssa kind of had it in the storage uh, space under the floor with her, uh, with just her head sticking out. The body that we saw was one of the dummies used for, uh, for class. Yeah, this don't surprise me. And she hid her neck under the stone pillar. At first she plan probably planned to remove the dummy while we were going to retrieve the key, but her plans got thrown off when we said we tried to get inside from the room, um, inside the room from the window ledge. Normally someone would give up on the, uh, the prank at this point, but this is a top blue student, so she amended the plan. And she threw the dummy's head, uh, severed head into uh, the pond and must have planned on escaping while we were checking it out. But once again, Things didn't go her way. My assistant, uh, Kamomele, peeked into the room from outside the window. She had already gotten out from um, under uh, the floor and hid herself in the nick of time. At this point, she was hoping, yeah, she was hoping um, we'd be shocked by the headless uh, body and run either to the staff room or the pond. But I doubt she expected to, us to see through her trick thanks to the blood sheet that she moved uh, to cover up the hole in the floor. Yeah. It's all a prank. Good grief, what a waste of your talent, Alyssa. And I, and I have scorn for um, whoever helped you, too. Uh, Alyssa Kun must still be inside the room. She hasn't had time to run away. The window's blind spot. She must be hiding behind the door, right? Huh? She's not here? Uh, did she try to escape outside? I can't move my legs. Uh, uh, I've got you. Wait, I've got you. Ooh, he's got her now. Shiki Sensei. <laughs> Shiki Sensei's pretty good. He kind of won me over. Really, Yuri? It made me hate him. <laughs> oh, God. Sheesh. I'm in Shiki Sensei's fan now. I can't believe he saved you without the slightest hesitation. I hope he likes animals, too. I can't believe you're all fawning over a loser like him. This was a good lesson for our students, Officer Shiki. You have my thanks. Uh, I think you know this already, Principal Emmy, but Ron solved the mystery, not me. You were able to solve it uh, uh, because you correctly unleashed Ron's power. I don't think Ron would have been able to make it back here on his own. That's what you saw right through us. Um, but I'm so happy that cheeky little Ronnie has grown up so much. Yes! Ronnie? Huh? Even as a baby... <laughs> As a baby, Ron disliked people. He turned his face away when I went to hold him. And I realized suddenly that he was glaring at me rather harshly. There must be... You know what? Here's the thing with Ron, though. Ron's a good judge of character. 
I know mofos are going to say Ron is racist. You know it's true. You know these mofos will say it. Amano, I am telling you right now, they will. I'm calling it. They will say Ron is racist. He is not racist. He's just a good judge of character, especially if I'm right and the principal is um, is a uh, mole um, from M, uh, from the M family, which I still think she is. I think she is. I'm sticking by it. <laughs> just picturing it cracks me up. I didn't know you knew my mom as a student. She never told you? Well, you know how she is. Oh, she looks beautiful as a student. Your mother and I met as students at the school. We hit it off right away, and we had the best time uh, best time together. That's why I want my students to... Oh, dude, her, her eye looks really weird here. I don't know what's going on with eyes and art lately, and manga art lately. It's weird. I know I'm being weird about it, too, but... It's just one, one of the eyes looks very, very questionable. It's driving me nuts. I know it's goddamn weird. And the hair, um, maybe the hairline kind of looks funky here too. But just this pan, just the face in this panel is looking really weird. But other than that, yeah, it's looking fine. That's why I want my students to um, make good friends um, and have a meaningful time together. In the future, they'll be the sh uh, one shining light into the dark, into darkness, and helping people in trouble. After all, Aww. come to think of it, one of my good um, friends from um, back then in, is in the Japanese Metropolitan Police. Huh? Ah, uh, am, am I interrupting? It's fine. We'll finish this talk another time, Rankamanahashi. Wait a minute. Who is her friend in the Japanese police? I want to know. She called you Ronnie. I can't believe she knew me as a baby. See this? See it? I'm even more. This makes her even more sus, sus. Like, remember back when we saw the shit with the um, with the markings in the book, uh, for you know Ron's markings. I'm telling you, she is part of the M family. She is. She is a mole. She's a freaking mole and you know what probably is driving her to do it it's because she like got jealous or something i don't know but she is she's got to be part of the m family she has to i'm relieved that the murder was just a prank and principal emmy praised me well you did well toto i hear there's a good pub in town let's go eat some fish and chips oh yeah i'm surprised you recommending me uh you're recommending me such a uh, cliche english meal fish and chips go great <laughs> Fish and chips go great with brown sugar syrup. You know what? Ugh, so that's what you had in mind? Wait, ugh, so that's what you had in mind. You know what? I'm trying to think if that would be good because, like, if you've had, when, if, you, if you go to Wendy's or just, like, anywhere, but for me, it was always at Wendy's. You get a Frosty. And this was back. In, this was back when Wendy's fries were good. This was like '90s, 2000s Wendy's. You'd get those thick fries, and you get chicken nuggets too. You have to be chicken nuggets, and you dip them in the in the frosties. So now, with brown sugar syrup, would the fries taste good with it? I don't know about fish. I don't think fish. Would, I, I don't know how fish would taste good with brown sugar syrup. That don't, I don't know about that. Fries, maybe, but fish? I don't know. You're talking to someone that will eat like Reese's peanut butter, that used to eat Reese's peanut butter cups with the uh, sour gummy worms. Oh my God, that is like, I don't, it is like the best thing ever. Like that sweet and sour mixed with the chocolate and the peanut butter. You, you get the sour candy mixed with the sweetness of the chocolate and peanut butter. Oh my god, it's everything. That's why I'm. Uh, that's why I'm trying to picture it. If it's like, if if the if what he's trying to go for is like that salty, sweet flavor, and I don't. I just can't picture brown sugar syrup being cooked. I just can't. I know it's weird. I'm thinking too much into this. Oh, my stupid ADHD. This is what happens when I don't have Adderall. The next morning, ta today's Saturday, so the uh, school is closed, right? What should we do? 
um, since we came all this way, let's do a brown sugar tour. Oh my god, brown sugar tour of London. No way. No way. Um, I can't believe it. What's up? It's an update on the missing detectives case. Three detectives who had been missing were just dead. What you say? Oh shit. Well, Detective Alliance HQ, the victims were all renowned detectives of A rank or higher. The culprit is narrowing down their targets. We must send a, a level 5 alert to all high ranking uh, licensed detectives at once. We're currently verifying the whereabouts of all high ranking detectives. What the? <gasps> ooh! Ooh! You seem busy. You, uh, you seem busy, you mystery solving experts. To this design. <gasps> Amano, the detective hunter, looks amazing. I live for this design. It, I, it's simple, but it's, it's, it's the mouth that is getting me. Oh my god, I love this mouth. And also the sword. Look at that sword. Oh, it's bomb. What is that? Who are you? The opposite of love isn't hate, it's indifference. Huh? So what's the opposite of a detective? Until you solve that, this situation will continue. A mysterious, malicious um, figure appears. So he has the book, Guardian of, this, uh, of the Citadel. Okay. Translators? The Guardian is spelled wrong. Unless it's supposed to be Guardian of the Citadel, which I think is wrong. You, you missed an A, and that is going to bug me. Okay, so the next chapter is going to be out on July 1st. Is it, is it on the... Hold on a sec, this is going to bug the shit out of me. I know it is. Yeah, there is an A missing. And that is driving me nuts. And it's happened twice. Unless there, it's supposed to be like that, um, which I doubt it is. It's really driving me fucking nuts. But I looked it up out of curiosity. curiosity. There's... The Citadel is actually mentioned in Tolkien's work, which I think is very interesting. I wonder if we're going to get some Lord of the Rings shit up in here, which would be very, very cool. Um, the other thing is there's a book. It's a Spanish book. I'm very curious if that's what it is. But a lot of stuff I'm getting is from Lord of the Rings. Um, but yeah, that's what... Uh, uh, let me see if I can um, find a better... No, this is more modern. I don't think that's the case. Yeah, these, they're saying that this is Spanish literature. That's why I'm like, I do not know. I do not know. Hmm. I'm very curious what you guys think of this. Um. Like... <laughs> I think it's just funny that the only thing that's coming up is, uh, um, is, uh, dude, if this is, oh my god, if this is a Lord of the Rings LARPer, I am going to fucking die. Seriously. Oh my god, if it is, I will die. Amano, please do that, because that would be such a perfect contrast to Harry Potter. <laughs> please do it, I will live. But also, um, translators, please fix the a, uh, the book, unless it's supposed to be that. But god damn it, I just, I just can't. Oh my god, if this motherfucker is supposed to be, this is a Lord of the Rings LARPer, and we're gonna have Lord of the Rings versus, like, Detective Harry Potter, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Please do it, please. Please, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. Do you guys think this is some Lord of the Rings versus Harry Potter shit like I'm getting? Oh my god, I hope so. Oh my god, I hope so. Or do you think that, do you think that's a typo? Um, that the A was missing on purpose? If you have the Japanese raw, let me know. Um, uh, 
if that's the case, because if it is the case, then whatever. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan's Inc. Love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Ronk Manahashi content. A few ways you can do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All oh, that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That is in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.